Hey everyone, welcome back to more Warhammer 40,000 Chaos Gate Demon Hunters. I'm Disturbing Puppet. We are continuing here. We don't have a mission we can get to as of yet. Um, we do have a couple that are left from this last round, but they're too far away for me to reach them. We're kind of here. Nearest one's up here. Can't make it. Out this way. Can't make it. So not much point. Um, we do have this planet system here. Uh, this is maxed out. This is, I think it's the only one that's maxed out as far as corruption level goes. I might want to hang out over in that area just to see if something pops there and then to try to kind of deal with it to maybe drop the corruption level. This one's pretty bad as well. This one's kind of getting there. Yeah, we've got a couple that are kind of bad, like these two here at three. This one's all the way maxed. I mean, most of the rest of this is fairly under control. These two are kind of bad as well. But we're keeping things, you know, keeping a lid on the sector anyway. Uh, we'll kind of see what I want to do. I'm not sure if I want to change position here or not. As far as what's coming up, we've got research coming up soon for mass purification. Uh, after that, we can research something that will give me an additional stratagem. We're working on the Augurium. That'll let me place a couple more Prognosticars. We can try to cover as much of the sector as possible. Although I've kind of placed them pretty haphazardly so far, so I'm not sure we'll have really good positions to put them. Uh, Storm is the only one wounded. He'll be back relatively soon. Grandmaster Report, 24 days. We'll have missions before that, I'm sure. We are running lower research speed at the moment. We're also running lower or increased XP which is nice, and we're also doing faster construction. That's what we kind of burned through. We've got the Geller field up now, so we can go through Warp Storms. I don't have to worry about it. I think we're still slowed when we go through Warp Storms, but I don't get affected by negative events and stuff going through Warp Storms. Uh, I'm not 100% sure about the slowing effect, though. And then uh, we're working on the Augurium, the last upgrade for that. Once we do that, we might look at, like, gun upgrade, like the last gun upgrade or something. We'll see. We could also focus more on XP for our Marines, but uh, we're doing okay as it is. I don't have a lot of people that are super high up. Uh, we also don't have a lot of servitors, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, I think we're just going to have to wait for another mission to pop up. I could travel around. I think I'm going to stay here for now. This isn't too bad for hitting like this area, but if something's further out here or out here, we're not in a great spot. I do have my engines all the way upgraded, so we are pretty quick. But I may only be able to make it to one or two. It's, I mean, it's random where the missions pop up, so you really can't control uh, or kind of take that into account too much. You can just kind of hit what you can and deal with it. All right, I'm just gonna advance time here and we'll see how it goes. Research will tick over here pretty quick. Okay. I've been studying the archives of a convent world that was quickly subsumed into the pandemic's early stages. The sister hospitaler in charge was highly competent, developing a mass purification treatments on the fly. What she started, we can continue. By exploiting the sister's insights, I can channel a purifying blessing onto the ground, purging your knights of malign afflictions. So purify and heal, I think is what that was. Was it this one? Purify, so all negative status effects are gone, and heal too. So, I mean, it's pretty good. It's not, like, the best thing in the world, but it's pretty good. So, I think we go for this. Um, the other option would be reducing the cost of red seeds for purity seals, or purple seeds for purity seals. Those are kind of what I'm looking at, maybe wanting to do. There's also the Codex Toxicus, but I'm worried this is going to trigger some negative stuff. I'd like to at least get this done first. Uh, that's 48 days, though. That's really long. And I think I've got a buff at the moment, don't I? Or do I have a debuff? <laughs> do I have a buff or debuff? Let me take a look. It's a debuff. So it'll actually speed up after four days. So that's okay. So that'll drop to 24. Maybe, if that's 50% exactly. Yeah, I think having the extra stratagem slot would be really helpful. Let's start working on that. Maybe I'll do Codex Toxicus after that, but I think that's going to trigger some more negative bad stuff. Uh, would not surprise me. I might look at other stuff I can do. Maybe reducing the surge we get. I don't have that many of the yellow seeds, though, for that. All right. Agurium in only four days. 
Have those missions expired? No, one's still left. Ship's on the move. Alright, Agurium 4 is done. The Agurium is now operating a peak efficiency commander. The Lex mechanics have taken... Okay. Uh, spectrophotometry readings. And the reflective power of the oculums are at the maximum potential. We can now support a full complement of Prognosticar, second only to the Augurium on Titan. Excellent. But I only have four servitors available. I probably don't have anything I can do with four servitors. Uh, faster construction speed isn't really a big deal. Faster research for eight. Oh, we don't have eight. Health costs me ten. Gun batteries are ten. Exterminatus is twelve. Repairs is eight. Barrack upgrades is 8. Faster XP is 8. Faster wound recovery is 12. So yeah, I have nothing I can do. So I need, what, 8? I think 8 minimum for anything. Yeah, really for me at this point it's 8. So I might want to look for missions. Alright. So now I just need to do uh, what I can as far as assigning prognosticars in a somewhat competent manner. We've got two available. So when I put them down, they'll drop the corruption level of that particular planet by two. So that's something I should probably keep in mind. Um, but they do affect everywhere they're adjacent to. We do have a kind of a big gap here. So you can kind of see where I've got one. There's kind of lightning reading out. So it does affect the other planets that are adjacent, but it doesn't reduce the corruption of those planets. So I could drop the corruption here and then have these covered. But is that really worth it to only cover four planets? I'm not sure. Um, like even if I did here, that would be six planets covered. But it wouldn't drop the corruption here. It is a good spot, just because I don't have the area covered. Uh, uh, we've got, I mean, three here I can hit. Even either one of these is only going to be two. It's kind of hard to see up here in the warp storm. Yeah, that one's covered. So yeah, the most I can hit is going to be this one. So that's hitting five planets. That aren't currently covered. I could use both of them out here. Where are my other gaps? So there's a couple planets here that aren't covered. And then there's these three. This one. I could drop one here. That would end up covering four planets. So that's not bad at all. So do the four and the five probably is the most reasonable thing to do. I'd really like to put one here to drop this corruption level, but I think I'm just going to have to rely on missions to pop up to do it. Um, we do have these two here as well. I think we'll just have to kind of leave them as they are. Yeah, I think we have to go here. So that'll cover those four. And really, the smartest thing is to put one here. So that leaves... One planet there, and the two in the center. I think that's it. I think that's the best I can do. Looks like I have to do them one at a time. Actually, there isn't a connection here. So this is actually only affecting three, not four. 
Uh, I mean, that's still pretty worth it. But I could also just place it here instead and cover these three and drop the corruption level here. The only real difference is whether I'm just covering this planet or not. That's the only difference. Uh, it might be better to cover the edges, maybe. Corruption-wise, I mean, this would be a good choice, but... Uh... So there'll be one there, two there. All right, let's go ahead and do that. So that gets that under control. We've got this one planet here that's kind of bad. We've got one planet uncovered, two planets there in the center uncovered. So I kind of have to do this. So we cover the five. There's one here left open. Yeah, I think we have to do that. I'd really like to drop the corruption here. The only difference is, you know, we're not hitting this planet. This isn't terrible. Yeah, I'm just going to go for mass coverage. Not really even worrying about the corruption drop. So we just want to have maximum coverage across the galaxy. So we're not going to cover one, two, three... Four. I think that's it. So we're hitting everything but four systems in the sector. So this is now uh, not too bad of an area anymore. This is bad. That's bad. Do I want to stay here? I could move even closer, hoping something pops up over here. Mission should come up here pretty quick. All right, I'm going to wait here. Because there's no guarantee anything's going to be out on this edge. So if I go all the way to the edge, everything's going to be like over here in a cluster or something. Missions should pop here pretty soon. Three new missions. Okay, so one is up there. Corruption-wise, that's not a big deal. Okay, these two... So this one is not covered. Yeah, this one is not covered by a prognostic card. The other one is. So I can't make it to this one. I might be able to then make it to that one as well. Uh, this one is Servitors, so that's good. Bloom spawn. This one out here is Bloom spawn. So is this a spreader? No, seed carriers. Okay, that's fine. Uh, it's only going to go up by one, so that's not that big of a deal. Yeah, let's go ahead and hit this one, and then we'll try to head up to that one next. Um, I've got the ship upgraded. Uh, stuff isn't going to degrade too quickly. So if we do this, it's going up by two. Corruption will drop if I do the mission, so that's good. All right, I think that will be fine. That'll get me some servitors, and then we can throw them into something right away. But if I hit eight as we're moving, I should just go ahead and jump on something. All right, let's start going. Wait, in case we get to eight. I don't think I will before the mission. There's six. And here we are. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and save it here first. Uh, let's see. Alright, so we have 
Corruption level is one, not a big deal. Mutation is low. It's going 20 a turn. We don't have a prognosticar here, so that's probably why it's so high. Uh, Mortis and Tantaris are here. I don't know. Um, we don't have a uh, prognosticar, so I don't know what we're going to fight. It is a seek and destroy the bloom spawn. Uh, win a mission without mastercrafted armor. I'm not going to bother doing that. It's just too much of a hassle to change all my gear at this point. So it's danger level medium. We should be fine here. Not going to do that, thanks. Okay. Uh, I think I will take out Kalmar. Everybody else, I'm not sure. I might want to look at lower level people. We had a couple gunners here because we were doing a, a spreader last time, which we kind of want to stay away from. So, who do we want? Um, Harn at level 5 probably makes sense. Masseus is 5. We don't have any 4s anymore, do we? No, okay. I think I might want to take out Iolanthus. So that sort of makes sense. We've got an extractor and some heals. We have a way to buff people, but we've also got good close combat abilities. Might want a gunner, or we could maybe take out um, Devorn, or somebody who can have a bunch of grenades, or Storm. Well, actually, I think Storm's hurt. Nope, everybody's back to full health. So Storm's got a couple grenades. Whereas Devorn has four, I think, available, and can also flame and burn armor away that way. What do we want? We just focus on lower level people. We've got Harn, Iolanthus, and Kalmar. There's Vorn, Kern, Foros at level five still. Vorn's really good. I like Vorn quite a bit. Um, he's mainly defensive, though. He does have a, a good psychic ability. Kern as an interceptor does have support fire, I think. Yeah, I've got support fire. Foros is just slashing people up. Four fifty-four. Yeah, Kern's actually a bit lower. Actually, Vorn doesn't even have that much at four eighty. Yeah, I'm tempted to take him. He could just kind of face tank a bunch of shots and stuff. Maybe we'll take Vorn just to play around. Got the extra willpower to use his psychic ability because it's quite good. Yeah, maybe we'll do this. Potentially a little bit more close combat -y focused. I don't have a lot of shots. Um, we've got some psychic abilities here to do some mass damage. We've got psychic abilities here to do some damage. We can support or stab and support. So I think that works. Do we want to take a look? We looked at Harn stuff last time, so let's take a look at the gear we've got here. I really wish I could just click on this to go to the loadout at the specific weapons and stuff. Anyway, for abilities on Iolanthus, we have gotten uh, Honor the Chapter up, and with a bonus. He is a bit more close combat focused with the Hammer Hand. Extra crit damage. We've got extra damage on this. Uh, we can Aegis Shield for a bit more, and our innate ability is just extra ammo on ranged weapons. Nothing too crazy, I don't think. Right, we've got 50% chance with this. Right. Vorn. We are now up to 6 armor on him. Got extra willpower running. Aegis Shield gives me 2 more. Smite is quite good, I like that. Uh, Fury of the Agents, really, really good. I do have to get a bit close. Uh, I do have crack shot. I started with that, but I'm not really shooting much with him. No auto abilities or anything like that. Our weapon does four damage. We can give other people extra armor. So he's a bit more close combat-y focused, support focused, but we do have a good psychic ability. And then Kalmar, we're still working kind of the same stuff. We have extra damage against demonic enemies with our gun. We can teleport. We've got Smite, uh, Vortex of Doom, I don't remember what I upgraded last time. Blademaster, don't have to worry about using abilities with him. Good 
parry. What did I do ability-wise? So smite is extra damage. We got Vortex of Doom. Okay, so I can warp charge it to disable mechanical targets. And extra damage. So it does a bunch more damage. Uh, I'll have to remember that it's got that. We have Gate of Infinity with extra range. I think, yeah, we improved the range last time. I might have just gone ranged and then willpower maybe last time. I'm not sure. Because we might want to look at maybe getting, like, Empyrean Domination. All right. I think we are set and good to go. I think this will work. This is uh, actually an all-Terminator squad. Which does mean we'll be a little bit slow. But we're tough as nails. We should be able to deal with it. Have some mass damage abilities. No grenades, but I do have the uh, Vortex, and then I've also got the ability on Vorn. We can kind of do some damage to soften targets. Then maybe go in for some stabby, stabby kill kill with Iolanthus. What else do we have? We've got Bleed on Harn, if I Cybolt. There's a chance Harn will get an action point back when he Cybolts. What else? I do extra stun damage with Vorn at the moment. I don't remember if that's from his Hammer or anything else. It's probably the Hammer ability. And I think it's on all attacks. It's plus one stun. It could be only four strikes, though. I recognize this place. Abraxius. A showcase for the worst the Ministorum has on offer. It was not long ago I executed the governor and his entire staff for heresy. And yet the Bloom has found the means to insinuate itself and fester. We must destroy its source below. Look at all that armor. Two Bloom spawn. Okay. So on Iolanthus, I do actually have extra overwatch damage, too. Kind of looking at my uh, little sheet I have. Alright, so we've got one way out there in the back. Another is much closer. So that's kind of straight in there. Do we want to go up? Yeah, we want to go up over on this side to engage. Okay, we don't have a lot of ranged options here. Your command. We would like to have Vorn and Iolanthus probably up front. As ordered. So that's what I'm gonna do. I am here to serve. Kalmar, we can stay back a bit. Harn, we'll stay back a bit. All right, Iolanthus, how far up can we go? I don't know that I want to go too far. We should be safe there, I think. At once. We don't have any indications of a patrol or anything, so I think we'll be alright. Uh, okay. We can kind of go there in a weird roundabout way, Moving sure. Out. Moving now. So we're all quite slow. Cthud, cthud, cthud. Right, stratagems because we don't have a uh, prognostic arm. We've just got the two, so extra action points and extra armor. I still think these are the best so far that I have. Uh, if I have another option slot, we'll have to pick something. I do like the heal, but I might replace this with like a heal everybody. Something like that. Okay. At your service. We'll sort of leapfrog up here a little bit. Yes, sir. 
Okay, still nothing. My blade is yours. Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander. I want this. Let's go around. I am wider. Bones are near. Okay, there's a patrol on top of the uh, boom spawn. I think we'll what creep the other two up, orders? then we'll move forward. So, Kalmar. We strive. And Harn, we'll get you both up. Yes, sir. Then we'll move Vorn or Iolanthus up. Maybe if you will go first. I can't actually get that far. We strive. Oh, that's not even close enough. All right. At once. Yeah, we're too far away. Unleash me. Moving now. Yeah, I can't trigger them this turn. That's unfortunate. They might trigger on their turn if they move this way. Advancing. I'm just gonna creep in as much as I can. Alright, we're good to go. Well. I am here to serve. Yes, Commander. I just want to look at, like... So we're actually up-raised. We can get a decent view of the models here a little bit. Kind of nice to see for a little bit of a difference. I think we have Vorn move in first. Um, I'm always reluctant to move near these things that can blow up. Uh, I probably should just run right towards them, but I'm going to... Cover probably won't even make it. Yeah. Forty-seven. All right, we've got eyeballs and a priest in the center. He's gonna start summoning stuff. Reinforcements down. There actually is where they're coming in. Okay. What is your will? Well. There's a lot of demons here, but we want to hit a big area. So I'm going to start... Actually, let's start with Vorn. I could give Vorn some extra actions then first. Maybe we do that. Alright, I want this. We don't really do this much, but let's go ahead and give Vorn extra actions, please. So Vorn, we're going to move in and we're going to use the Fury of the Ancients. I've got to stand pretty close. It will be done. A couple of them went down and out of the way. We can nuke everybody up front. Oh, we can almost nuke everybody up front. Oh, we can nuke everybody up front. I just have to be really careful. All right, go for it. You know, I should have checked if any one of them were seed bearers before I did that, but uh, I just got too excited about being able to kill a whole bunch of people all at once. Uh, there are seeds there. That's kind of cool. Priest guy... couple eyeballs left. Maybe we just go whale on this guy a bit. Can't kill him, though. There's a couple down the stairs. Okay, let's hold Kalmar. off a second here. Kalmar, I don't know how far we can do this. I was hoping I could hit... Yeah, I kind of need to soften up this guy. So let's do that. Feel the wrath of the good Emperor. Glory to Zyphos. So now I can go smack him. It's not going to kill him though. You come on. At your service. Might be able to shoot him. What is your will? 
Alright, let's go smack this dude. Four strikes, not gonna do it. Uh, I might need it though, if I'm gonna kill from range, so let's go for it. With one health left, I should be able to get a shot off with somebody to finish him off. I think that's not close enough, I've got no lines there. I am here to serve. Harn. I can't get close enough. Your command? That is unfortunate. Can't reach anybody. I don't think anything too bad's gonna happen here right away. Now. So I'm just gonna move in on the enemies, since I can't kill anybody. What are you, anyway? Well, oh, it's a Grenadier. I mean, those guys are kind of irritating. Uh, not the worst thing in the world to deal with. Yeah, I'm just going to get up in position. Yeah, go attack Vorn. Okay, I think we're missing some special effects there. He just took out Harn's melee. And replaced himself with the demon. Wonderful. Thought I'd be okay there, but apparently not. I sense the enemy converging. Demons. Yes, hang out next to the explosives. Okay. I could have used an action point to finish this guy off. I didn't think he would turn into a demon that quickly. I am here to serve. Okay, I think what we're gonna do give Kalmar, extra actions. Then if I can... Oh, I got pinned. That's why I've only got one action. Can I shoot this from here? I don't have an angle. That's too bad. Yes, Commander. So I can always wail on people up front. Uh, Kalmar has a gun that'll do more damage against demons, so we want to focus on that. We could also teleport in and smack them around. But shooting, we're going to do more. So I could, like, teleport somewhere here. We've got quite a bit of range. Let me come in close. We travel on and I can just shoot the crap out of the demons and see how much damage I can do. Um, how much ammo? I've got three shots. Yeah, let's just uh, double tap you. For the golden throne! Start working on this guy. We come. We Blessed ammunition depleted. And all I can do is reload. Well, I could have maybe gone and smacked him with a sword. Alright, so that's it for you. Yeah, so Vorn did take some damage there. It went right through his armor. Just wail on this guy. My abilities might be better. 
par, and we've also only got two action points. So, yeah, I can't really... If I move... Do I have an angle down at those explosives? Is my question. You don't have seeds. You don't have seeds. You guys don't have seeds. I might need to just throw a bunch of shots up here. I've got minus one action point and no melee weapon use. What is your will? So I want this with one action. I can't really do much of anything. I can hit him for a little bit of damage. I can hit him for a little bit of damage. I was really hoping I could blow this up. Or I could move position. I might need it here. Let's just go ahead and throw some shots. So the Cybolt's adding a couple points of damage there. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Sure, we can do once. That'll get a bleed. So if I don't kill him, he'll still have the bleed gun. Take a regular shot. I mean, I'd like to kill him out. Born. Hitting him is not quite enough. But if I force strike it, it will be. Uh, yeah, sure. Now I can come back and smack you, too. Yeah, sure, let's do that. So trade one for one. Bye-bye. Yeah, stay near the explosives. Six HP. All right, that's not great. Attack! Kill them all! Fall on death! All right, warp surge. What do we got? Extra cost to all of our abilities. I can live with that. That's not too bad. Uh, Vorn, what do you have going on here? Oh, that's the little power cost. Okay. The Emperor lights up off. Right, so, you're standing on top of explosives. I don't think I would recommend that. Ready. Yes, Commander. I want this. I mean, we could cub stab him. shoot the thing he's standing on. No, I want to shoot the thing he's standing on. That's irritating. Your command. Standing ready. So we could have Kalmar come back and try to shoot demons. We're going to do more damage with him. Come on. Nobody's got seeds that I can see. Standing ready. So I want this. We could go stab this guy quite a few times. Hammer hand's gonna cost me three. That's a lot. Got a chance to parry it. Let's 
so I might be better off just shooting him. That's the problem we're running into. All the demons have swords, so there's always that parry chance. Unleash Unless you're running an interceptor who automatically have the class ability to not be parried. Uh, I mean, I could blow this guy up, but that might hurt my alliance. I can always go down after this guy. That's a pretty easy kill. Alright, let's just do that real quick. For the Emperor's chosen. So, if I can get a vortex over here somewhere, I don't know if I can see. Yeah, my sight lines are kind of here. So I could teleport and then do it. Bit close. That's too far, huh? We travel on sea paths. All right. The question is, do I want to shoot the guy up close or drop a vortex down below? If I do this, this will probably blow that stuff up, uh, which is potentially a problem. I think we just shoot the guy here. Yeah, it keeps defaulting to shooting him. Disciple. Nah, we'll just take a basic shot. Soften him up nicely. Uh, I have my close combat attack back if I want. But I can just shoot him. Just shoot him a couple times. That should. As you command. This is our arms. I, sir. <sighs> Ammo depleted. Get our reload. Alright, I love this. Do you want to run down there and stab this guy full on in the face? I mean. Who doesn't want to run down there and stab him full on in the face? Emperor, guide my hand! Steady and surely we hunt. Control in the back. Alright, what do we want? Uh, he's probably gonna puke on me. Let's take the stream of corruption out. Take his head off. Apparently you can't puke without a head. We have I wouldn't think that that would be a concern, but uh, that's the way it works. Might as well take another hit. Got another crit. Um, okay. Uh, let's take out the Nurgle's Gift, maybe. I think that's the heal, or that's the mutation. Yeah, let's do that. No magic staff for you. Just take all his limbs off, eventually. Okay. So I do have seed here I could collect. Why not? And then if I get close enough, I could hit him with a smite. Range is only 10, though. That's about as close as I can get. Taking position. I don't think that's close enough, but I'll take... I'll see. Yeah, he's a bit out of range. Alright. Fine, fine, fine. Yeah, it's not a big enough area. Yeah, I'll just kind of hang out over here. It's fine.
Alright, we'll just go back to Iolanthus and do some stabbing, probably. Well, we could soften him up with Kelmar. Praise the Emperor. So let's soften him up a little bit. Why is that so low? Plus two for demonic, it's minus two for partial full cover, medium range, and cloud of flies. Alright, well that's kinda sucky. Not sure that's worth it. I mean I could just charge down there, I guess. Get one hit off on him. damage is that? Six damage, I mean, that's quite a good chunk. Yeah, sure, let's do that. We come. We I'd like to get Iolanthus to get some uh, willpower back. He's already down to one. Uh, if I hit you, I mean, we might be able to do that. Try to do it without force striking. <laughs> Should be enough. Okay, what I'm gonna do first what though. Is your will? What is your will? Harn. Let's heal either Iolanthus or Vorn. Vorn's pretty well protected. Iolanthus we could heal up a little bit. And now time for you to die. Okay, so we have a patrol there, and then the last bloom spawn is past, way past. All right, so probably for that we want to approach through the big room here. So we could go wide around or through here, either way. I think I've seen this map before, actually. Or a very similar map. So we come around, and then... Is there a door here? Yeah. So we pop through the door, maybe, and come down. There's stairs here, so we could come this way, also. Yeah, maybe we'll go all the way to the edge of the map and move in. Heading for those stairs in the back. Unleash me. So I'm not really worried about the other patrol. I am here to serve. I could go after the other patrol, just to see. We might be able to get seeds and stuff from them. I've got three of my people over here, so we could engage pretty quickly. Yeah. Is that worth it? I am pretty slow, though. What is your will? Somebody can get through that door. Yes, Commander. Your orders? want to do it. All right, let's go ahead and do it. I, I want seeds, so let's try to get all the seeds we can. Your command. I guess we could bring Vorn down as well. I could even go around to this side. On the hunt. Hopefully we don't run into another patrol. Off. Ready for hey, battle. what did I just say? At least they're on the other side of a door, so we're okay. Come on. Okay. Harn can get in. At your service. Iolanthus can get in. I think we'll have Iolanthus Reverse. bust down the door. Harn will stay on the outside. Taking position. I want this, we will kick in the door and just go for it. I'm assuming that'll reveal them. Something in the way, though. What the heck is that? That's new. It's trying to leave. Apparently it wanted nothing to do with us. doing something. Permission 
Mission to engage, Commander. All right, what the heck is this thing? It's kind of looking the wrong way. I don't even know. Fetid bloat drone. All right, saturation bombing. Blast area four. Six damage, hobbled, armor pierce. Paralytic reprisal. When hit with a ranged attack, return fire to deal four damage. Or mobilize armor pierce. So I think that's what it did. Okay, I mean, that's a really weird angle, but uh, all right. Your orders? Hmm. Actually, you are potentially in view of Vorn here. What is your will? It does have seeds uh, on it. Oh no, the guy in the back. I don't know if I can get close enough to collect those. He's in range, but I think I have to have you. Alright. Standing ready. Unleash me. Standing ready. Oh, he's too far away. Okay, I don't suppose we can hit this. Can. So that's an option. Uh, does this thing count as demonic? It's mechanical, okay. At your service. So we could shut it down. Your orders. Partially. Can I get in here without him hitting me? I can. He's not really set up very well. I probably want to blow that first. That's probably what I will do. What is your will? My blade is ever ready. What is your will? Right, Horn, let's uh, blow this up. Moving now. Well, he didn't like it. Your command? Don't blame him. So I can probably get a kill here. I can't get into anywhere with cover, though. Um, we're gonna kill you sooner or later. Armor pierce doesn't matter. Guess we'll take out your gun. Finish you off. We slay the darkness. Super ragdoll effect. All right. He does have some area effect stuff back there. Yes, Commander. The Emperor lights our path. Okay, Kalmar, we need to move up. I want to hit this guy with my ability. Moving swiftly. I think. Yeah, I can hit both of you. If I warp charge it, it affects mechanical targets. It's not showing me info. Disable ranged to mechanical targets. Yes, he's mechanical, so yeah, let's do that. Now, I could give somebody some additional actions here. Can't do a lot with Harn. I want to kind of get in position to get the uh, extractor back on that guy. I could potentially give Vorn extra actions, maybe come in and I might be able to hit them both with the Fury of the Ancients. If I can get close enough. 
I'd have to get pretty close, though, I think. Like here, probably. So, yeah, let's go ahead and give four extra actions. Let's run in like a maniac. This thing will probably blow up in my face, though. So, Fury... Uh, it's gonna kill the guy in the back, though. I'd like to get the seeds from him. He's a spreader, though, isn't he? Yeah, I really hate the spreaders. I'm willing to uh, have you die instead of me getting hit by the spreader. That's that's something I'm willing to accept. So this goes from 6 damage to 12 damage at a warp charge. 5 willpower, though. I do get 2 kills, so I will get 2 of that back. But I get 1 back anyway. That would leave me 1 action... Uh, I don't know if one hit would kill it, though. End up getting a warp surge that way. We can kind of avoid it if I don't. Let's try to avoid the warp surge. Still got a shot off, which is odd. Enemy down. Now I can't hit him. But I can smite him. So we'll just smite him. Hopefully he doesn't blow up in my face. Okay. So Vorn again takes a little bit of damage. Actually, no, our armor saved us there. That's the damage he had from before. We healed Iolanthus, not Vorn. Alright, that was kind of a nasty enemy. Uh, I think we'll have to engage here and then move on in. I'm immobilized. Which is not great. I can get rid of that. Unleash me! Burning a lot of willpower so far. The door shut, we're not going to set these guys off. Disappointed I couldn't get the seeds from that guy. Yeah, let's go ahead and do a heal, and that'll get rid of the uh, negative effects we've got going on here, too. Gratitude. Yes, sir. Iolanthus. Far up can I get? I mean, we could go busting in and go after that other squad, but I will get more armor back. I could use my stratagem and then go for it, because there aren't going to be that many turns left, and this is active for five turns. So let's go ahead and use it. In which case, we might as well bust down the door. I could use my ability first. I don't use it that often. 
It's just an action point. I can still move after that, right? Nope, we go into the defending stance. All right. Oh, they moved really far over there. Yay, more reinforcements for the enemy. Just what I always wanted. All right. Unfortunately, they moved over there. I could ignore them. We could just move in on the objective. What is your will? Your orders. Let's go ahead and head through here. I might set them off accidentally here anyway. Got a bit of a wall here, but I sense something here. Yeah, let's patrol there as well. I mean, I could definitely make contact. We do have seeds there to gather. I am here to serve. All right, so let's. Yeah, for now, we'll stack up on the door. It will be done. Your orders? Born, we'll take the door as well. Taking position. Your orders? Okay. I would like to go get this, and I might do it anyway. We might reveal the other patrol. Um. If we do, All fine. We'll get action points, we'll be able to deal with it. We might be far enough away we can sneak in here. They could come back at me. And I could move forward and... Well, I may not see anything from here, so it might be safe. Yes, Commander. At your service. Do I want to push it? I might get... Sandwiched. It's probably safer if I don't uh, engage these other guys because once we spot it, if we spot it, there's more reinforcements are going to pop in, teleporting in. So I'm going to wait. Because this other patrol could move back and then trigger on the enemy's turn. In which case, I'll feel kind of like an idiot for then being caught between two enemies at the same time. Uh, that does cost willpower. I don't really want to burn any. I mean, I guess I'll overwatch just because. I think we've got a longer overwatch on Iolanthus. Yeah, it's quite a bit longer. The Storm Bolter he's got has extra range. But terrain gets in the way pretty badly, as you can see. We'll just buy some time here. So see if that patrol comes back. Nope, okay, we're good. Yeah, let's just go ahead and bust this down and head in. They are going to come this way, though. Your command. Let's bring Forn in yours. first, or Kalmar in first, I mean. I do kind of want to go wide. I think I'll have a better view there. Moving swiftly. Got the stairs there. This come on. Okay, Harn, if we bust through here, we can grab some cover there. As you come on. Okay, still no contact. Good, 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 good. What is your will? If I move to the edge, we're probably going to trigger them. We do have stairs right here. Anything else? Lots of stuff I can blow up. Like, lots of stuff I can blow up. Vorn has to get in close, so we could move Iolanthus this up and then Vorn charge down. Uh, I don't know how far up is safe, though. 
We'll head to the stairs. What is your will? And we'll have Vorn head down the stairs. Actually, he's just gonna jump over like a maniac. All right. Oh, uh, what kind of cupboard is there here? Anything? Not really. My way. That'll set him off. Silver Knights. So, I can't really see what's going on. Resistance increase. They're mutating and auto resurrect. All right. So we got our actions. We're good to go. I think. My blade is ever ready. We will start things. Oh, there is somebody with seeds down there. Oh. So actually, I'd like to start with Harn. Except I can't actually see who it is. <laughs> Am I targeting the right person? I'm not even sure I am. You, right? Okay, we got it. Standing ready. What I'm gonna do. First of all, extra action points. We're going to go to Kalmar. Yes, Commander. That's first. Uh, I might give Vorn extra action points with Iolanthus. I think that would kind of make Standing sense. Ready. But let's start here. So if I come to the edge. On my way. All this wonderful stuff down here. Can I hit everybody? I can hit almost everybody. Yeah, that is everybody, actually. Yeah, hit everybody. Blow up all your eyeballs, which doesn't really do much. We hurt everybody else. Glory to Zyphos! Priest there is going to be an issue. Uh, I could go smack him, but we're not going to kill him. I could teleport down there and start doing damage. He's not a demon, so I'm not going to do extra damage. I can one-shot you. If I hit this, I can hurt you two pretty bad. But somebody else could do that. Maybe. I don't know what angles. Vorn, we're going to come down. We're going to hit them. Um, yeah, maybe Iolanthus can take that shot instead. I am here to serve. Or Harn. Yes, sir. Tell me you can shoot that statue, please. Yes. Hit those two. I am his will. Enjoy that. The enemy is wounded. Okay, I've got one more action. Which we'll is hit this guy. I want him to die before he summons anything. Basically, I strike true. Now I could just give him extra actions, and he could do a little mopping up. Vorn, we can go down and do an area of effect hit. So I think that's what we want to do. I am here to serve. 
So I should do that first and see yes, what's Commander. left, and then kind of mop up after. So we'll give extra actions to Vorn. Strike four. Your command. So Vorn. We come down here. As ordered. My fury. Uh, just the front two. The last guy is a little too far away. Alright, let's kill those three then. Areas of Moonspawn have been excised. Surface level bombardment will commence momentarily. I always forget. We kill the Bloomspawn, we're out immediately. Destroyed, Commander. Excellent job. Tiny bit of injuries there. Uh, might not even be enough that anybody's got to hang out in medbay. Well, it's not medbay. The Apothecary on. I think three. We took like three points on Vorn, and we took like three points on Iolanthus. We healed that up, so um, I don't think anybody else got banged up. But yeah, having those extra actions, having big area of effect stuff is really nice. Interesting new enemy we saw in this one to see if they pop up some more in the future. I'm assuming they will. Might be a bit of a problem if they shoot back, depending on their range. Like, if we can stay far enough away that they can't shoot back at me and I can hit them, then maybe we could engage them that way. Um, but yeah, using that ability to took out the uh, ranged... The enemy was still able to shoot back at me. And we're back. Show me promotions. All right, we got two blue seeds and eight purple seeds. 15 servitors minus one corruption. I have a grand total of two requisition, which is enough to get literally one thing. Uh, best stuff is level two, so we'll probably just look at level twos, I think. What do we have? Dire Strike. Armor Pierce on Cybolts, which is kind of cool. It can be upgraded for extra damage, so up to 7 damage with Armor Pierce on a Cybolt. That's pretty spicy, uh, pretty impressive. The range is not great, though. It's level 1, I shouldn't really look at it. Warp Scorn. So extra armor, extra willpower. So I think this is kind of a, an upgraded version of the armor I've got on my Librarian. This might be slight. I think the one I've got is a level 1. This is level 2. Name's different. It's extra armor, it's extra willpower, and don't increase warp surge when I use the abilities. I might take that. Psych out. Does some damage, gets rid of psychic abilities. I think we take the warp scorn. I might have enough to upgrade it right away. Is that better than what I have? I think it has better armor value. It might be higher willpower too. Let's take it. We'll see. Show me promotions. Nice. Alright, let's go with Harn. What do we want? Uh, we can get... Biomancy. I don't actually have any Biomancy abilities. Uh, extra ammo for Servo Skulls I think is quite good, so that's more heals with healing ones. Let's take that. What do we have? Melee weapons can bleed. Put hobble on some enemies. Eh. Uh, bleed on some enemies is okay. We have this on Assad. Because we can also have it do some... Well, it hits like a pretty big area. So area 2 to start with, and then we get up to area 4. 
so it's not bad. Here's a biomancy. So if we get that other upgrade, we can get biomancies at any range. Plus two crit damage for melee weapons, plus one move speed for two turns. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> this one is extra resistance. So all the biomancies click there here. Plus one stun with melee attacks. Yeah, I mean, they're not great. That's for sure. I could take this in preparation for that eventually. Extra action points on a melee crit is interesting, but I don't often get that close. And we're not really geared for crits that much on these guys. There is more, like, willpower available, potentially. Yeah, I mean, eventually this might be good. Because we could maybe play around with the biomancies, and then we wouldn't have to worry about being, like, super close to the enemy, or my own guys to use them. We could get some more health here. If we go this route, there's more willpower down here. This ability's kind of weak, though. Hobbled, it just... What? Uh, minus to your speed? Yeah, minus two. Hit a bigger area. Warp charge for immobilized. Eh. Not that great. I think I might rather even go for the uh, four strike bleed before I would do that. How about we do this? So we'll go massive servo skull specialization, and then maybe we can play around with biomancies later. So we're set for biomancies. Vor, I haven't really looked at abilities too much. Um, once we're in here, we can get more willpower right away. So we've really maxed out Fury of the Ancients. Willpower is, of course, tempting. I wouldn't use the Psy Cannon. What's this? Target a knight any range to get plus two willpower. We can reduce the cost. Transfer all of this knight's willpower. I wouldn't want to do that because we need the willpower for the psychic abilities. This. Uh, increasing crit and crit damage on melee weapons. That's certainly good. Here we've got extra armor for the defend position. Bigger area. And then hammer hand. Yeah, I think we'll go kind of close combat-y focused. This route we can go ranged. Yeah, I'm kind of locked into close combat here, so let's take the willpower, and I will take the extra crit chance. So we'll do that. Close on Kalmar. Uh, we've got the servitors now. Let's take a look at Kalmar real quick. Kalmar! So I'm currently wearing the Warp Scourge, so it's 3 armor, plus 2 willpower, Warp Suppression. The one we just got... is... extra HP. It'll be extra willpower, and it'll be extra armor once it's upgraded. Yeah, let's throw that on. I might even give the other one to somebody else. I'm not sure. Uh, what do we have? All right, let's upgrade that. One for one willpower is pretty cheap. I would really like the armor. Yeah, let's do it. I just have to make sure I keep at least one for the Codex Toxicus. I think. Research-wise, I might regret that. Um, 
So I could give the other armor to somebody else. I might look at that. Uh, somebody like... Uh, who would use an ability a lot? Iolanthus, maybe, Boars, somebody like that. Um, might be a good fit for that other armor that I had. So when I was just running on him, to just avoid having Warp Surges kick up. Uh, we will decide what to do here, though. So what do we want? Do we want... Gun batteries, extra hull, more capacity, faster XP. That's pretty much it. Um, how long does it take? Six days, nine days. That's just ruined recovery. I'd like to get this, but it does take a while. So I might just crank out either the hull integrity or the guns here right away. Got 21, so we're in pretty good shape. Let's do the hull integrity first, because it's pretty quick. Before I leave, I just want to make sure I can actually get to one of the other mission here. Yeah, so we can make it there in time. That's fine. So we're set for that. We'll be in good shape. All right, so I think that's going to be it. I will take a look and see if I want to swap armor around with somebody else. But that's going to do it for today. This has been more Warhammer 40,000 Chaos Gate Demon Hunters. I've been Disturbing Puppet. Thanks for coming by. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Until then, have a good one.